Hey guys, this is Eugene and today I'm going to show you in my opinion the four most essential minor chords for Neo Soul R&B and gospel guitar. So the first chord voicing I want to show you is a basic minor 7 chord that's played in E. So this is an E minor 7 chord. And you play it that way. You play a bar on the 7th fret starting from the A string. Then you play your 5th on the 9th fret D string and then you play on the 8th fret B string and that's your basic chord shape. You can actually play uh, on the 8th fret and the 7th fret um, B string to create that little sound and another typical R&B chord melody lick is that. So you do it that way you play the 7th fret and the 8th fret on the B string and then the 7th fret, 10th fret on the high E string going back to the 7th fret actually and then doing the same thing on the B string. The second voicing I want to show you is a classic neo soul guitar chord and it's a minor 9 chord that's played in A so we play A minor 9 chord. You play it that way, you play a bar on the 5th fret and then you play your 5th with your 3rd finger on the 7th fret A string and then you play your 9th with your pinky on the 7th fret high E string. And what you actually do quite often is you do a hammer on from the from the 5th fret to the 7th fret to give it that little 9th sound. Another cool trick you can do with that chord is you can play the 8th fret and the 7th fret on the B string as well if you want to create some chord melody. And that's actually another pretty cool chord voicing that's like a major 6 chord. The next chord voicing I want to show you is a pretty modern sounding chord voicing. It's a minor 11 chord and sounds like this. Let's play it in A, A minor 11 chord. And you play it that way. You play with your second finger on a fifth fret low E string. Then you play on the 5th fret D string with your 3rd finger and with your pinky you play on the 5th fret G string and then you play on your 3rd fret on the B string. The last chord voicing I want to show you is another minor 7 chord and it's a really interesting chord shape because it is not your typical kind of minor 7 chord and has an exotic sound to it in my opinion. It sounds like this. You play it that way, let's play it in G, so G minor 7 chord, you play a bar on the 3rd fret and then you just play your 7th on the 6th fret B string and that's your chord shape. I really hope you liked that lesson and if you want to see more videos like that then feel free to subscribe to my channel.